just uh, showed my cheap and lazy solution add-on um, to avoid using the Megascans bridge add-on. Um, I had a pleasant fight with ChatGBT to make me this, or to make this add-on for me, make me this. <laughs> um, essentially, it it loads up your um, entire Quixel Megascans catalog straight into Blender, or Blender handles that. So yeah, um, I'll have a tutorial after this. Um, so let's say we want to import this asset, which is a chair. We select this, uh, select your level of detail. Let's go with level of detail two. Import selected assets. That will spawn it at the 3D cursor. And uh, all the shaders and materials are set up, uh, including your color space. Um, same goes with plants. Um, let's import something basic. Um, level of detail two, why not? Uh, import that. Uh, shaders, again, are already set up. And let's add a material. So let's add your monkey, um, subdiv it a few times, um, and now go into your end panel, Mega Mats. Just refresh your library. Um, we can select the resolution size, but yeah. So we uh, import material first, and then we click Apply to Selected. And again, that set up the shader nodes and everything for you. And that's about it. OK, uh, tutorial is straight after this. Bye-bye. OK, so this is just a quick tutorial, or like the quick parts of this tutorial to showcase how to import Quixel Megascans add-on without using the bridge application or bridge um, add-on, because it's quite terrible. Um, OK, so in Blender, delete everything, because why not? Let's go to Edit Preferences. Everybody knows how to install an add-on by now. So go to Add-on, uh, Install, and we'll just have to locate the add-ons. So let's start with Mega Asset. This one imports the assets like plants, models, and debris. Um, oh, you can drag and drop a file into Blender's file browser, and it'll just open it up. So you just click Install Add-on. Cool, we have this one. Um, Author is OB loves ChatGPT because ChatGPT made us. Okay, assets and debris root folder. So we got to locate the 3D folder. So just know where your Megascans library is being downloaded to using the bridge app. We're going to go to that, download, and under 3D. So just go to the roots of the 3D. Uh, here is just pay attention to this. Yours may differ, but yeah, you'll figure it out. OK, so under the root 3D folder, we click Accept. Now it's time for the plants. We click on the Browse folder again. We go to Downloaded, and Plants will obviously be under 3D Plants. Cool, accept that uh, in the root folder, nothing else. And Save Preferences. And now let's install the um, Mega Material thing. So. Mega Material, Mega Mat imports, um, author name, your name, again, ChatGPT. Um, it's up to you guys to keep it up. Um, so we're going to go to, oh yeah, we already installed the add on. So click the Browse folder, go to our Mega Scans library, download it, um, and we're going to search for Surface. Uh, no, don't go into any assets, just for root folder. Save that. OK, now in your end panel, uh, we have import mega and mega mats. Um, so let's start with import mega. This is the big one. So we have three categories, um, assets, debris, and plants. Uh, so we just refresh on all of them. We don't have any debris, um, or I don't have anything downloaded. Um, and just refresh everything. You'll see everything has a nice icon, and it has options for what level of detail you want. This add-on is buggy, so I would suggest you download or you import it into one separate Blender file, then copy and paste it over to your other Blender file. But yeah, it's up to you, boo. Um, OK, so let's start with one other chair. So we select the chair. We select the level of detail we want. I'm going to go with level of detail 2. And on the top left, uh, just make sure that's selected. And then we click Import. Let's go to Material View. Um, and also the shading and stuff is properly set up, so you don't have to worry. And also, nice thing is uh, roughness and normals are set to non-color data. Um, 
you might get an error message, but it might not be something terrible. Uh, so let's say this tweet, twigs, twigs, <laughs> twigs. Uh, and let's set it to level of detail free. That might give me an error. I don't know why, but it still works. Um, also, whilst you're still busy with this, don't control Z. That crashes it off the time. So plants, again, same thing. Select your assets and import selected assets. Um, one thing, don't undo, just delete. Um, one thing that might be buggy is for search. Um, so you click on the search, let's type in rock. And when you hit enter, that's when a rock thing shows up. So we can import that. Cool. Again, delete, don't undo. And then you won't be able to see your other categories or assets. So just backspace, enter, and then you're back to normal. Okay, now for mega materials, basically the same thing. So we add a giant monkey, subdivide it. And now let's uh, refresh the list under mega materials. And then we have bark. So we can just, uh, First of all, you get to click Import Material that, blend, that brings it into Blender. Then we click Apply to Selected. There we go. Um, search function, let's test it. Uh, bark. Yeah, I mean, that works. Wait, bark, search. I don't know. We'll have to figure this out. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Everything is made with ChatGPT. It might be buggy, I can't code, but at least I made something that helps me with my workflow. Um, the download will be in the description. And please, if anybody is going to modify this or keep this up to date, please let me know if you're going to like improve it. Let the community know. Uh, leave a comment um, or chat in my Discord server. And yeah, set up a Blender artist's post. Okay, cool. Uh, after this, this is for the slow people. Okay, cool. Bye-bye.